Hi champ. Joy was walking down the street and she saw Faith. Faith was wearing this really short dress. She was waiting for a customer. Joy looked at Faith and she was like, why would any girl my age who God has given sense decide to become a prostitute? How can you see how this girl is just useless in herself? And she was like, like, please, I can't, I, can't, I can't just deal. She walked past her and she hissed. Rubbish. The next day she passed again and she saw Faith at night. Faith was waiting for another customer. And she was like, like she just can't even look at her. She's so disgusting. Her life is, her life stinks. And she walked past again. Well, unknown to Joy, Joy herself has two parents. Her parents live together and her parents are wealthy. You know, she has everything she wants. She attends the best university. She has clothes. She has nothing to worry about. Just go to school, graduate, pass well and come out. While Faith, Faith's parents were dead and Joy didn't know that. Faith had siblings and she had to take care of her siblings. When her parents died, her uncles took everything they had from them. So it was left to Faith to cater for herself and her younger siblings. So all she knew about making money was prostitution. She didn't enter into it willingly. She just felt she had no choice but to enter into prostitution to take care of herself and her siblings. Then Grace walked into church and she looked around. She could feel everybody whispering. Then some church members walked up to her and told her that she had to leave church that they decided, decided that she was going to be excommunicated because she was pregnant with, out of marriage. She wasn't married yet and she was pregnant. You see the way everybody in church treated Grace, like she was some outcast, like God had totally rejected her as in, if you even associate yourself with her, God will reject you too. The way they spoke about her, spoke to her. But one thing people didn't know was that Grace didn't willingly go spread her legs for some man. She was a virgin, but she was raped. And yeah, she couldn't come out and start announcing how she was raped, deceived by someone she was in love with who turned out raping her. You know, she became ostracized, laughed at, the scorn of town. She couldn't even show her face anyway. All her friends abandoned her. Everybody, everybody could say was that, you know, Grace was bad. Grace was pregnant. If you associate with faith, then uh, Grace, then you're in trouble. See, if, dear champ, if you as an adult or a teenager or a kid or whatever, whatever age you are now, look at people and feel or think that they should reason the way you reason, want the same things you want, see things the way you see it, <laughs> then you're really funny because like i say and i've always said that we as humans our decisions today and every other thing are made up by experiences family you know background everything we've experienced so far to that present age our thoughts ourselves so we're, we're all different we all come from different backgrounds different upbringing you know we've all gone through different experiences and we all want different things you can't expect me to reason the way you reason so what makes you now think okay even if you know and you believe that your own way of reasoning or the way you think it should occur would be the right thing or is the right thing it doesn't mean you should not look down on that other person who has done wrong or the other person who is not living up to expectations or the things you would have done because let's be sincere you can never tell you can really never tell what you would have done if you were in that person's situation okay now looking at saying oh, come on why would i even get pregnant that's what you're thinking but imagine if you had lived the life grace had her experiences family her thoughts everything had she had been through see 
before the world today is filled with so much judgment just going on social media the way people comment bring other people down talk about other people see one thing we all need in life is understanding and acceptance for people to just try and understand us so before you look at that person or look at what that person has done or how, how that person looks and judge just try and imagine hmm i wonder what this person has been through and why they would do this or why they would reason this way try and understand why would they would do that or why they are the way they are you know give it to them even if if you're okay it's a wrong thing try and give people your understanding i'm not saying you would make the same mistakes or do the same thing that they did but just try and understand and not hate them for their choices you know be compassionate be compassionate to people before you look at that person and decide to judge just go like hmm I wonder why this person did this and I would have done different labels in that situation but hey we're different so I can't hate that person for it so look, look at it this way Christ when he was on earth didn't judge he accepted everybody like they were he sat down with the sinners and ate with them so it's always funny when you see Christians and other people look at others and go all judgments are like, huh, look at this one. What's she feeling like? Look at the way she's dressed. Oh, she's, just a, she's such a whore. Very disgusting. This, this, that. Be compassionate. Be understanding. Love people. As a Christian, that's what you're meant to do. Love people. Try and understand them. I'm not saying you should do things, do it, act like them, behave like them, but just try and understand. Be compassionate. Before you judge people, try and ask yourself why are they here what happened what do they have done in this situation if it's possible pity them but still love them understand them and be open towards them we all need love appreciation understanding so champ i hope my thoughts will be fine go there if it's a leader someone who is accountable to you Maybe you guys have given them your money, your votes, your trust. Yes, please judge them. Judge them and the way they decided to rule you. So champ, when you go online, when you meet people, no matter the mistakes they've made, try and understand them. Do not judge them. Never ever judge people. Let's be say we hate it when others judge us. Just be open-minded, look at them with love like Christ did. Because we're Christians and that's what being a Christian is, being Christ-like. So champ, I hope my thoughts on this have been able to help you somehow and not confuse you as imperfect as they are. Do not forget that you are a champ and I love you and God loves you more. Bye champ.